In this lecture, we are going to learn about two important keywords used in C language. One is continue and other one is break. We are learning about this before switch case because break is a keyword that we will be required in switch case. So let us take an example for continue keyword. Continue keyword must be used within a loop. So I'm taking a while loop over here. Until this while condition is true, we are sure that instruction one and two will always be executed. I'm adding a condition here. So if this condition is true, again, instruction three will be executed. Now, because I have added a continue keyword over here, as soon as controller reaches to this statement, the controller will go back to while loop, starting of the while loop again. So in this case, instruction four will be skipped. Again, in the next iteration, instruction one and two will be executed. If the condition is false, this whole block will be skipped and instruction five will be executed. So this whole process will continue until a while condition is true. So continue keyword can be used wherever you want to skip few instruction based on some condition because you cannot have continue directly. Otherwise, there is no point of using it inside a while loop. So this condition is not compulsory, but ideally there would be examples where you will need to skip few instructions based on some condition. In such cases, you can use continue keyword along with some condition specified in if. Now let us check break keyword. Again, the break keyword can be used either in switch or a loop. I'm writing this example with while loop. So until my while condition is true, these two instructions will be executed. I'm adding another condition over here. So if this condition is true, instruction three will be executed. So as soon as controller reaches to my break keyword, it will break my existing for loop. It will go to the immediate instruction, which is after your while loop. And similarly, subsequent instructions will get executed. So break is a very useful keyword which you can use to break existing block of code. In this case, my block was of while loop. Similarly, you can have it inside switch loop as well. So switch case is a topic that we are going to check in the next video. But before that, let us check a few examples on break and continue keywords in the next video.